Welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be using the DJI Assistant 2 to see about updating the Spark. So, I've got uh, plugged into the back port of the Spark a mini, or sorry, micro USB cable to USB A. And then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the Spark on. And so, the Spark is powering up. And I have screen recording going on the laptop. And so I am going to plug in the Spark into the uh, PC and then we're going to see what happens. I've never done this before, so this is my first time. Now I've used the DJI Assistant before with the Phantom 2 I had. And so we'll see what it does. Now you do have to log into it. I've, I think we all have DJI accounts. And so you log into it. And I've now got it plugged in and it's still okay. So after a little bit of a wait, it has detected the spark here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the spark. Okay, so after a wait, we've now come up to this screen. And it says, after firmware incompatibility detected between some modules and the current device update your firmware so I'm gonna go ahead and click confirm now one of the things I'm connected to the internet and obviously I'm connected to the spark here through this cable so it's going ahead in updating in the DJI uh, assistant 2 app so I'm at 97 percent now for some reason this 97 percent seems to be the magic number I've been hearing uh, I put out another video on this uh, where I used the uh, uh, iOS and it hung forever at 97% and some people said they had to wait up to 9 to 10 minutes with it at 97%. Um, so I'm not sure if that's going to be the case here. I'm going to let it run. Now what I did before is I powered off the copter and powered it back on. But I'm going to let this set the duration and see what happens and just see roughly how long it takes to see if it even moves off 97% um, because I'm down to two lights on this battery uh, because I've tried this battery with another uh, one so I'm hoping that there's enough battery life to hold it for that period of time so let's see okay so it's now at a hundred percent I'm flashing green so I've got uh, dark green light green and um, it took probably about five minutes of elapsed time in there for it to go, well, probably a little bit more, more like about seven minutes, because I waited about two minutes uh, before I cut out and then came back. So about seven minutes after it hit 97% for it to go to 100. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and let it check everything. And uh, so I'm all at current settings. Um, so this is good. So what I'm going to do is, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to load in another battery and see how that one goes. Okay, I've loaded in my next battery and I've connected the drone again, the Spark again. And I've got the same message over here, firmware incompatibility detected between some modules and current, uh, and current device. Update your firmware. So I'm going to hit confirm. And it's going ahead and notice how fast it actually jumps to 95. So this, uh, and I'm assuming that the connection here is much faster than going over the radio. Because obviously if you're going from the, you know, say your phone or tablet to the controller over wireless to this, the bandwidth is going to be substantially less than obviously this Direct Connect USB cable. Uh, so this is one of the reasons I actually like upgrading via the USB cable to the actual drone itself. Now this is the first time I've done um, uh, the Spark. I've done the, the um, uh, Phantom 2 I had uh, quite a number, quite a few times. And so this uh, really worked well, this DJI Assistant 2. 
And I, you know, I would also recommend this. Uh, it's probably a good way of just checking everything out out with uh, this too, is hooking it up and every once in a while do your updates through this, uh, because I, I think this is probably a, a better way to do it. My personal opinion than via the phone or the tablet because again I've had a lot of problems with Android and doing upgrades iOS has worked better but it still hasn't been flawless but as you can st still see here this is sitting at 97 percent so again it's taking a long time at this 97 percent to do whatever it's doing um, so let's let it do its thing and we'll come back and take a look when it's done so after a similar wait about seven minutes um, the Spark is now updated and we moved off 97% and so update complete so all is good. So I'm going to click the back button here and return. I'm just going to check my version information and everything once um, the app comes back. So everything says is current. Uh, the date release is 8-21-2017. It's official. Um, and we can click the release notes. And so again, it tells us what, uh, you know, was with it, uh, you know, with the firmware upgrade. And obviously this one is uh, optimized battery management to improve stability. I'm really wondering what the issue was with the battery that they felt so compelled to push an update like this. So anyways, this is here again. This is a nice feature. I don't think most Spark users know about uh, the, the DJI Assistant uh, application. So um, it's one of the reasons I'm doing this video, share it with you guys out there. So anyways, I wanted to give you a quick tour of the DJI Assistant app uh, and what you can do with the Spark. It does work with the Spark, so that's good. So I've updated my two other batteries with it um, successfully and far with far less pain than um, the other way. So again, I recommend this. And so uh, I have the link to this below. I got it. I, I've gotten it. I've had it before. I downloaded the one on this one from the Mavic website and I'll put the link uh, to that down below. So hopefully you found this interesting. If you did, hey, hit that thumbs up button down there. Appreciate it. Uh, subscribe button's coming up over there. If you know any other hit, uh, tips and tricks, because I mainly only use this for updating the firmware in my Phantom 2. If you got anything you'd like to share with me, hit me in the comments below. I'm always interested to learn new things. Hey, I may be an old dog, but I can learn new tricks. And uh, let me know what you're thinking about lunch for tomorrow. Cheers.